What's up, everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you can see here, I am at Las Vegas City Hall. It's National Recovery Month, and we are participating in the Las Vegas Recovery Rally. So there's a ton of tables set up here with a bunch of resources um, for different treatment centers, different programs, nonprofits. They got 12-step groups here and all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be really cool. And you know, I'm gonna be recapping this event. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on. So stay tuned, because there's gonna be some great speakers and all sorts of stuff, and you're not gonna wanna miss this. What's up, what's up? All right, everybody, I'm gonna sit down for just a minute. All right, so we just had a ton of speakers inside. So we're at like the city council meeting, which is pretty crazy. Like, uh, not city council meeting, city council like office. Not even office, like meeting room, like <laughs> whatever it is. You'll see video of it, but it, the place is huge. And uh, I've never been inside one of those places. But anyways, anyways, we had a ton of speakers. So the main organization called Foundations for Recovery, they're actually a national organization. It's a nonprofit organization where they, um, they do a lot of recovery support. So helping people get sober, helping people stay sober, helping provide resources, helping people get back on their feet when it comes to um, government services, when it comes to uh, job training, finding jobs getting reconnected with families are an awesome organization i had some cool speakers who went up there um one of the first speakers who went up there was uh somebody that I, you know i'm actually friends with one of my buddies elizabeth and she's awesome she's in recovery she's been sober a little over three years and she has uh been a part of an organization where they talk a lot about mental illness and co-occurring disorders and I'm talking to her because I'm actually gonna try to get her to come and do some content with me here at The Rewired Soul because she struggles with bipolar disorder and she's very open about it, she's very uh, educated about it. And bipolar is one of the mental illnesses that I'm not as educated about as I'm like. So hopefully she'll be doing a video with me soon. Um, next up, they had another gentleman come up there and he's from Nevada. And what he does is that he goes to all the different Nevada legislatures and uh, meetings and everything and he's fighting to get rid of certain laws that are holding people in recovery back from progressing in their lives. And aside from that, also creating new laws to get more funding, to get more people treatment. And uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Like seeing people like that really inspire me. Like I'm sitting there watching them like, yo, I need to become a part of this. Like that is awesome. Um, after that, mm, 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 then came the main course. So the gentleman, who is the founder and one of the top dudes at Facing Addiction. 
hopefully you have heard of this organization. I'm gonna try to get in contact with them because they're awesome. Basically like what he was talking about, and I'll actually have another video up of what his um, speech was like, but like there is a governing organization to fight cancer, to fight diabetes, to fight asthma, to fight heart disease, to fight all these things, but there's not one for addiction. And that's what facing addiction is. Back in 2015, they had their first huge rally, which was like a concert and all this other stuff, and 50,000 people showed up. But anyways, this gentleman, he got involved and created Facing Addiction after his son had some clean time and then passed away from an opioid addiction. Um, but he's doing a lot of cool things, and he talked about this 10-point plan about what we're gonna do to tackle the addiction crisis here in the United States. And it was really moving, like it was awesome. So everything's been going great. My son has been killing it. He's been doing great. Um, I got my lovely son right over here and he's been helping giving out shirts and buttons and talking about the YouTube channel. And my girlfriend's been doing a lovely job as well. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. We're about to do a recovery walk and I'll have some more videos of that. amazing inspiring day that was so that last clip you saw um, was my man Joe Engel who was doing a recovery countdown and if you've never been to like a convention or a big recovery event they do countdowns uh, and we celebrate years of sobriety down to months down to days of sobriety it's a really powerful thing just seeing all those people in one room who have overcame addiction and i think the least amount of time was 20 something days this young lady went up there and you know she got a ton of love and support and it's just really cool um, for those of you who didn't see my other video about the Narcan training event, I'm gonna put a link up in the info card above my head. Uh, I talk about what Joe Engel does with this organization called There Is No Hero in Heroin. Please, please, please go check out that video and listen to all the amazing stuff Joe Engel's doing. Um, because like I said in that other video, like Las Vegas, we're not on top in a lot of categories, but like we are killing it when it comes to uh, recovery, fighting addiction, advocating, and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope watching this video kind of inspired you to go out, do something, just increase awareness. Let's talk about this thing. Um, if you want, like get into some advocacy work, see which local organizations are, are doing things. Uh, I'll put a link to Facing Addiction down below. Uh, you should follow them on social media, see what they're doing, how they're getting involved with the government and all that stuff. And I'll be doing updates as I get more involved and let you all know what you can do in your individual cities because these kind of events when we all come together it's really amazing how powerful our voices can be so i hope you enjoyed that video if you like this video if you like me doing these kind of vlog style videos this is my first time so like leave comments down below or give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down say yo chris this sucked or say yo chris this was amazing or if you have any critiques let me know this is the first time doing it i think it came out all right for my first time but anyways anyways I hope you liked it. And if you haven't yet, if you are new here, I'm always doing videos about mental health, about addiction, and overcoming these things where we talk about the solution. So please, right below this box, hit that little round subscribe button. And make sure you hit that little notification bell too because it'll pop up and let you know when I have brand new videos. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.